Hello everyone, welcome to our pre-calculus class. This is our lesson 7 and 8 and this is all about revising for our quiz 1. These are the quiz topics. So finding the values of trig, trig expressions, finding exact values of trig functions, matching graphs, find equations of uh, graphs, then application. So there will be like uh, four concept questions and three application questions for, for this quiz. So this is the format as you can see there will be total seven questions for the quiz four concept questions and three application questions and you have to answer uh, five questions any five questions from the given seven questions so five into six equals to total 30 marks okay total 30 marks and if anyone answers more than five questions let's say someone answers six or seven questions then after checking we will drop the lowest scoring questions and keep the best five okay so there's the plan and in this in this uh, revision slide actually we have only one new question so let's uh, revise this question first only one new question and all of them are actually the repetition that we discussed or uh, so far we have covered so this is only one new question uh, we will discuss this one first and then we'll uh, quickly go over other topics or uh, just to touch them we'll, we'll try to do that okay this is an application math from our section 6.4 and related to uh, sine, sine functions this one the voltage V in volts uh, produced by an AC generator at time t is given by a function so V of t equals to this this is a function question is what is the amplitude what is the period okay first question is this this is 89 number from our book uh, direct question so first of all you can see here the amplitude is yeah, amplitude is 220 since this is a function of uh, function of voltage so 220 volt that's why this is the amplitude and to find out the period we know the, we know the uh, rule is for the period t is equal to 2 pi divided by omega 2 pi divided by omega and omega is the thing that is written here okay that is the omega so that is 2 pi uh, 120 pi so 120 pi which is just somewhat written here 2 pi divided by 120 pi uh, this is another example like suppose if anyone needs to write something let's say pi and this is uh, if you do not have pi in your mobile or in your uh, computer during the exam then you can just write pi okay we will consider that this is this is the thing that we are looking for so then we can do the cancellation and then it will be 1 divided by 60 because as you can see 2 and 1 20 if we cancel out we get 2 we get 60 and then 5 by cancel out so it is 1 by 60 2 2 cancel out uh, 2 and 120 cancel out so it is 60 then pi by, pi and pi cancel out so we have this this is the period of of this of this given function so we have period and uh, period and the uh, amplitude and next question is what a graph b over two periods beginning at t equals to zero so t equals to uh, zero we have to graph it so we'll skip this part since uh, during the quiz we, we will not have to graph it but if you are interested during the class we can try to draw it okay since we have since we have uh, amplitude and period this is easy to draw actually now c number question is uh, if a resistance of r equals to 10 ohms is present what is the current so the formula is also given p is equal to ir that means we have to use this formula to find out the current see this is how we use it p is equal to ir then i equal to p divided by r so voltage is given 120 volt we can we have have it actually from our question number a 220 volt and then resistance is given 10 ohms so we put it here and we get 22 yeah, 22 is the current we can write 22 ohms also ampere Hmm. now current i is this and what is the amplitude and period of the period of the current i so if we write if we write the function then the function will look like this now the amplitude changed amplitude is now 22 then sine same function sine 120 pi t and then for this amplitude we have the this is the current since this is the uh, function for the current this is the function for the current so amplitude is 22 amps that in the graph it will represent amplitude will represent the amount of current there 
and the period similar similar way same way we can use this uh, value 120 pi to find out the period and the period is actually the same for this question hmm. and the e number is also again uh, to graph this uh, function this current function over two periods beginning at t equals to zero so that's it that's uh, all about this question so this in this question mostly the thing that is uh, uh, important is to find out the amplitude and the period okay amplitude and the period and then some little calculations to generate new functions and then uh, finding the amplitude and period from the new function we have similar we have similar a few questions in this same uh, section which is 87 88 89 and 90 uh, page number uh, 407 this is from our PDF book okay same section similar type of math all of them are related to uh, 89 somewhat 89 type of maths here now let's come back let's uh, let's go to the go to our number one from let's start from number one and quickly go over them so first question you can expect like somewhat like this finding the value of values of trig functions let's say uh, this kind of question 37 number from 6.2 37 cosec 45 degree 10 60 degrees given what is the value of this so we have to do the calculation like cosec 45 degree value is what into 10 60 degree value is what then do the calculation and find the answer and this one is like sine pi by 3 then 3 10 pi by 3 we put the value and do the calculation we uh, just find the value finding the value this one is uh, to find out the value same question to find out the value uh, when uh, by using a calculator so this question is for the calculator this is the pi divided by 8 that means 1 to um, uh, pi is 180 180 divided by 8 that means this is actually sine 10 degree and sine 10 degree value we do not know that's why we will use the calculator for this kind of math and you have to write the answer in two decimal place uh, because uh, in the paper uh, you may expect that we will write it there suppose if we say say that write the answer in one decimal place then you will write the answer up to one decimal place let's check what will be the answer if it is one decimal if it is two decimal so this, this is sine 180 divided by 10 180 divided by 8 which is 10 which 180 divided by 8 a hey, 180 divided by 8 so it is 22 22.5 so sine 22.5 this is not 180 divided by 10 this is 180 divided by 8 <coughs> 180 divided by 10 also 18 anyway so sine um, sine 22.5 degree this equals to this equals to 3, 0 0.3826 0.3826 and etc etc so if we say write the answer in two decimal place then the answer will be 0 0.38 since we will not have to increase anything because the number after 8 is just only 2 the rule is if it is 5 or more than 5 then we have to add 1 here now if if we ask write the answer in one decimal place then this 3 will become 4 then answer will be 0 0.4 but most likely is uh, we, will, we will ask this uh, write the answer into two decimal place and this is this value is given in actually this value is given in radian so from the radian we have to convert it to get the degree first and we know that pi radian equals to 180 degree or if you have the calculator that can operate in radian you can do that way also pi radian equals to 180 degree so 1 radian equals to 180 divided by pi that means here we have to put 180 divided by pi and 180 divided by pi means uh, pi this this pi value is 3.1416 okay let's write 3.14 then it will be 180 divided by divided by 3.14 which is 57.32 and then 10 of 10 of this is 1.1.559 that means 1.56 so this answer comes 
if we write up to two decimal place 1.56 so this uh, this section this section you will do with, uh, with the calculator and this section is without the just simply if you know the exact values and that's better eh? because this is just a standard value 45 0 degree 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree 90 degree the, these are just like the value that we should know and we should use the exact value for them instead of using the calculator because calculator will give you decimal values for them also sometimes so this is 77 and 81 number this is like some points given on the unit circle and we have to find out the other trigonometric functions all the trigonometric functions so let's say if you have some circle like this this is minus 3 comma 4 so minus 3 is here 4 is here somewhat and just just let's say this is the point so this is the line and we have a theta here so this value is minus 3 and this value is 4 so if this value is minus 3 this value is 4 what is the hypotenuse we have to do the we have to use um, uh, Pythagorean theorem to find out the answer and for 3 4 we know that this is Pythagorean triplet so answer will be 4 5 here you can use the formula also to find out suppose for 81 number we do not know what is the value uh, yeah we have to do the calculation for 81 number but yeah for the for the right angle for this right angle now we know the hypotenuse is 5 since you know this this and this all of them this is the adjacent this is the opposite and this is the hypotenuse so we can write we can easily find out the sine theta equals to what cos theta equals to what let me write one two values suppose sine theta equals to sin theta equals to 4 divided by 5 because sin theta means uh, opposite divided by hypotenuse then cos theta equals to minus 3 divided by 5 and tan theta equals to uh, 4 divided by minus 3 so this way we can actually find out 3 then other 3 also similarly it will come so these are the mixture kind of mixture you in the first question you may see the mixture of this say for example this and this or this and this or all three of them but uh, not two two maths like one math one math and one math like that okay of course this exact this math will not come but this is the this is just for pattern as you know mm. just to understand like what type of things you may expect uh, to see two number question is finding the exact values of trig function this is from 6.6.3 .6 and uh, as you can see math number is like 36 sin theta is given 4 by 5 cos theta equals to given minus 3 by 5 so find out the tan theta equals to what eh, cot theta equals to what cosec theta equals to what sec theta equals to what from this kind of thing okay and we can actually find out uh, by using the trigonometric identities we can easily find out the remaining thing this is sin theta equals to 50 and 53 number sin theta is given uh, minus 2 by 3 and the uh, quadrant is given so similar way like we discussed in our uh, last uh, page last slide so similar way we will just uh, find out in which quadrant it falls then um, from the right angle triangle we can actually find out the other trigonometric uh, all other trigonometric functions or we can use the trigonometric identities also to find out the answer sin theta is given so cos theta you can find out by using sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 that formula you can use that formula also here yeah, this will also work so once you know sin theta cos theta then easily we can find out the tan theta if you know sin theta cos theta tan theta then the remaining thing is just reciprocal mm, this way also we find out so you can practice like this kind of math from these sections and if you have questions we can discuss of course third number question is just uh, this is just for an example like some graphs will be given and some answer will be given so you will not have to draw anything you will not have to draw anything some graphs are given and the answer is given you have to match like which graph is given which one let's say in your in your paper you may see like this is graph number a hmm, this is b this is c this is d a b c d and this is like let's say one question number one this is two this is three so now find out which one is the graph of this uh, this question number one which one is the graph here yeah. which one is the graph of two number which one is the graph of three number uh, this is from 6.4 matching the graphs there is a section in our book also 
matching the graphs and to find out just to give you an idea how to find it out answer is very simple you have to find you have to look for amplitude and uh, amplitude and the period okay amplitude and period will give you the solution both of them is same actually i'll change change it uh, after a while so we can just we will give you just uh, different 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 functions and then let me i can change it now also let me change it yeah i'm doing some exp uh, experimentation here anyway so yeah from here uh, there are some other functions so from these functions actually we have to find out let's go there let's go there in the slide i will change it okay uh, in the slide i will change this uh, options because these two options uh, uh, is same actually three sine half of x and then three sine half of x this one is different so um, either three number or one number has to change anyway just to give you an idea this a b c set like four graphs is given one graph one option option will be one less either here one less option or here one more but here it will be three so basically you will have to answer three question here uh, match three three graphs and their function here and the process is to find out uh, process is to find out the wavelength uh, the period and the amplitude this is how we can answer it all right so let's go to the next one and in, during the class time we will uh, practice this these questions all of them we will solve during the class time hmm. we'll solve this question now here the graph will be given in the four number question graph will be given you you will have to find out the the function for the graph okay in this four number question so to say for example this graph is given so is it uh, now a sine function or cos function if it is a sine function then what will be the uh, full function what will be the full equation you we will have to find out that so four number question is related to related to this and there will be uh, in the four number there will be two question in the three number there will be three question okay let me let me go back and show you that here there will be three questions like uh, one two three this kind of this way and in the four number there will be two question and we, you will have to uh, find out the equation of uh, the given graph so here two graphs are given which one is correct you you can just have a look here it will not be matching you have to find out your answer hmm. this is an application math that we discussed uh, this is from 6.2 so for different angles you will have to find out what is the time taken for different angles and we can uh, slightly change this question also and uh, more questions are like 121 122 123 and 124 from this 6.2 uh, yeah. This is one application math. This is another application math, math from the same section, 6.2. This is related to the decorative, uh, this kind of cone related that maths that we discussed, uh, this kind of math. This is also mostly related to the calculation skill. Uh, but we can ask like the some simple question like what is the uh, maximum angle, why the maximum angle is between this and that, or even the question that we have here. Like we can ask about uh, the question that we the way we discussed during the class we said that like what is the why the reason uh, what is the what is the possible reason for theta equal to when theta equal to 30 degree and theta equals to 60 degree why the taken time is same what could be the reason or this kind of like simple question we can uh, add if we give this question during the exam but uh, we may give uh, different questions as well these are just for example and this this is uh, C number, uh, this is the last application question and as we discussed, this is related to the current and uh, uh, this is sinusoidal graph actually, sine function can represent it. Uh, this is also mostly related to, mostly related to um, our uh, concept related to amplitude, then uh, period then of course somewhat drawing but uh, drawing question uh, drawing question we are uh, avoiding for this quiz let's see if anyone if if you you people are good at uh, submitting the drawing and work during the exam then we can actually include uh, more drawing things in our coming exams for the first quiz actually 
we'll try to keep it from our perspective we'll try to keep it a uh, little bit easy uh, everything let's see but uh, the easy the word is actually relative because if something is easy for one person it may be difficult for another person so this is actually a relative word anyway that's all uh, your exam will be february 10th which is this wednesday and since most of the students prefer uh, 4 p.m during the class time so this is 4 p.m to 5 30 p.m and i'm also okay with that this is no problem um, so we we had two options one is 6 p.m another one is uh, 4 p.m to 5 30 p.m another one is 6 p.m to 7 30 p.m one of them we will choose and that is 4 p.m to 5 30 p.m during the class time we will start then it will go half an hour more so basically we we can do it this way and uh, if you have any questions or any other things uh, we can discuss it tomorrow during the class okay uh, feel free to tell me that thank you all uh, thank you very much and have a good day see you all in the class bye bye